Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming with another episode of Stellaris Console Edition. Alrighty, when we left off, we were, well, we were trying to expand our, at least Empire's borders, to fill out the holes that we had left behind. But now, there's also the fact that we have a Gaia world here that we have not exploited yet, with a dust desert and bubbling swamp. And uh, probably should, especially given the size of the of the thing. So, we will send a colony ship to what we shall now name Sanctuary. It shall be colonized soon enough, and we will be good for a little while, at least, with that in our empire. And... New species variant available. That was quick. Uh, oh yeah, that's right. We were working on a thymoid. That's right, I forgot. Now, is there anything else? Oh, there's a human that is of the old type. Which shall, we shall adjust to add to the new type. It new should take nah, a little bit of time. A lot more than I thought, though. Flocks of cloud. Okay. Hmm. So I have to wait for the rest of the federal sovereign nations to complete this. Interesting. All right. Well, while I'm waiting on that, I'm going to... Well, technically, right now, I don't need to do much of anything. Um... <laughs> Other than reinforce this fleet, which kind of got really, Ships refitted. really uh, messed up when they were fighting the Ruthari uh, Enigmatic Fortress a while back. Shouldn't be much more than that. Also, we are losing food. Uh-oh. That's not New good. New species variant available. Okay. Well, that's done. Fantastic. That's not necessary. That's gonna be done eventually. And... I already did the thing, so why is it still... That's weird. That's very weird. Okay. Um, oh, I'm losing a lot of food. What in the hell's bells? Um, maybe prioritize farmers here? Maybe that'll help? Ah, looks like it did. So, okay. We did a good thing. Okay, well, with that in mind, we're going to continue closing these gaps here. But we're also going to do something involving that. And we might as well send Wraith over here. Because Wraith's free, on top of the fact that she is more than skilled enough to handle that. And then we will... Send them right back to the home base. Which I'm... There it is. Okay, I wasn't sure why I wasn't finding it. So, okay. There we go. They will deal with that. Science division reports good. a new breakthrough. Now we have research complete for kinetic artillery. Fantastic. Um... Let's do... We don't really need Devastator Torpedoes yet, so we'll go with standardized battleship patterns. Make them quicker and more cheap. Cheaper, rather. That's a better word to encapsulate that. Uh, We'll do that so it's easier and quicker and, you know, all the good stuff. And Senate floor is in session for minor military sanctions. And only those two are against it currently. Oh, well, there goes Earth. Which makes sense, considering they are also technically in breach of galactic law. So, yeah, they would have to protect their own interests. It's unfortunate, but it is what it is. Alright. Spuxalak Star Nation has ended their rivalry with the Progenitors. That's good. That's very good. Because I swear I was about to kick you right out of the Federation. 
Spock Salax. So, good that you finally saw reason. Reason and scent. All right. Okay, keep building that up as far as it'll let me. And eventually we'll take division care of that. Science division reports the new breakthrough. Ah, applied superconductivity is completed. Great. Which means move on to hyper shields. Get that done and over with. That way I have shields as finished as they're going to be. Aurora. Science division reports just need a to new breakthrough. Demote that unemployed one down to workers and just doesn't want to do it. That's annoying. Whoops. Missed that. Ah, that was galactic markets. Okay. So we will do Xeno relations. So I can build a bigger embassy and have more envoys. Which I need right now. Yeesh. Okay. Order restored on Felon Day. Finally. With the significant reduction of crime on Felon Day, the moon's once pervasive criminal underworld has been reduced to nothingness. The population has been imbued with a renewed sense of safety and harmony. Good. Fantastic. That means I can get rid of this. <laughs> Finally. I don't need to have it anymore. Great. I love it. Uh, what do I make, though? It's a question. It's a very good question. Mm, Ministry of Production, maybe? That'd be good. That'd be fairly good. Yeah. I'm okay with that. I'm fairly okay with that. I think that'd be good. Eventually, that uh, criminal pop will be moved or promoted or something. I don't know. Something will be done with them, I'm sure. Aurora, finally! Finally, that got dealt with. Took way too long. Yeesh. All right. Um, hmm. Fleet action underway. Hey, there we go. Good job, Wraith. Fantastic. Fantastic job. All right, and with that cleared up. Hmm. Wait, what? 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 The Raxicodium progenitors declared war on the Yana line. Why? What did they do? What did they do? Uh. Okay. I guess we're at war with them now. What did they do? What? What the hell is going on? Oh, they have big fleets. Oh, they have really big fleets. Oh, Jesus. They have massive fleets. Oh, oh that's going to be trouble. That's going to be trouble. Oh, no. Oh, no. There is no way. There's no way I can do that. Um, there's troubles. There's troubles now. Oh boy. Our pioneers have made planet fall. Yeah, good for them. We're kind of in the middle of a fight for, for our lives, though. A small celestial object with pronounced gaseous and particulate tails was recently observed in the stray system. Its passing was uneventful. It is a good omen, though. Absolutely. All right, let's sell some gas. Science let's division sell some reports of that. the new Why not? There we go. Continue on with that. Oh, 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 oh. Xeno relations finished. Good. 
fin finally, and to read the name of the thing and the description, the complexities of interstellar diplomacy necessitate the forming of bonds with foreign powers in order to further one's goals. So I can upgrade the embassy on the capital planet to even bigger! Alright, Grand Embassy Complex. Oh my god, are you, oh, are you kidding me? We're doing this again? We're doing this again. We're doing this again. Oh my god. Alright, you know what? I have to keep the precinct house permanently at this rate. Whoa. Well, the Federation has now unlocked new perks. That's good. We're now at level four. Cool. Um, cohesion is actually rather high. Um, so we could probably get away with upping it to, to medium. All right, we went to medium, med, medium, medium, Federation centralization. Good. And really, the only supporter here is the Ketling Star Pack. On getting it any high. Wait, if I go to medium, I also get supporters from the Spuxlack than the United Nations of Earth. Hmm. Okay, does it have to be unanimous? It has to be unanimous. Damn it. Or we can go to majority vote. And then majority vote there. Uh, majority vote for kicking members. Okay. Okay. And those are done. Fantastic. Science vote division weight is reports a new breakthrough. <laughs> going to diplomatic for vote weight is hated by everybody. Yeesh. Okay, so standardized battleship patterns. Establishing new standards for how we design and construct massive battleships greatly improves the speed at which they can be assembled. And I realized I forgot to redo the uh, society research oops that's my bad i was too focused on other things but with that in mind let's go with neutronium materials get that going for us and finish that for planet resurfacing which is very good with the advent of clean fusion, automation, and matter compression technologies, it was only a matter of time before mountaintop removal became mountain range removal. Neutronium materials, this incredibly dense and strong material, can resist firepower that would turn armor made of any other alloys into slag. And for hyper shields, these reinforced and hardened energy shields are incredibly powerful. The protection they offer is second to none. Good. Very good. And... Maybe... Wait, where are we at? We're at 1.85. It wouldn't be terrible. And I think, even if we don't get all the way there, it'll be enough, especially since I'm the one voting for it. Hey! There we go. We're golden. Members transfer 20% of their naval capacity to the Federation. And now the Federation has its own fleet that can be commanded where it may need to go. And that brings us to 1.35. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. We're doing just fine on that. Now I just need to build up more capacity for fleets. Science division reports a new breakthrough. Ugh. More capacity for fleets. Unlike what Twitter is doing. Hey, because they got rid of fleets. Finally. Thank gods. It took one way too long. Way too long. 
There's no reason to have them. At all. Anyway, enough of me harping about that. Uh, let's go with mineral process. Mineral, mineral purification, rather, not processing. That'll be the one after that. Purification plant. So we can use the most of those mining districts that this planet has. Because, boy, are we going to be using a lot more of them than we are anything else. Tell you what. Felon Day is back to... Oh, cool. Finally, the criminal is gone. Just took forever. Um, so I don't need to deal with the precinct anymore. Ha! Huzzah! Alright. Oh. And society research was done, so planet resurfacing is completed, finally. Hmm. Wow, I have a lot more I could do here. Let's get deep crust engineering finished. Advances in material technology and deep shaft... Sorry, couldn't resist. Deep shaft mining techniques allow geoengineering at previously unthinkable depths and temperatures. Magma hotspots can now be exploited, suppressed, or even relocated. Relocated. I can talk, really, I can. But hey, we can do things! Cool. Uh, was there any mark... Anything on other planets that need to be dealt with? Yes, on Sanctuary. Impassable mountains and dangerous wildlife can get dealt with, and then they'll be, well, done with, <laughs> for lack of a better phrase. And I can do that while the planet's being colonized. Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, that's good tech. That's impressive tech right there. All right. Uh, continue. Oh, hey. Brings us to full strength already. Nice. Nice. Alright, minor military sanctions is now supported by a lot of <laughs> a lot of fucking nations now. And really the only one abstaining is the Polysima Syndicate. Nice. Very nice. Repeal minor research sanctions? No! No! That's a good thing. Keeps the ones who are against everything and breaking galactic law left and right it keeps them from going crazy and overboard and screwing everyone else so no that stays if they're not willing to follow the law they are not allowed to be part of our society okay i'm gonna stop that now i'm just getting a little kooky cuckoo bonkers crazy that's what i'd be all right um Hmm. Science division reports a new breakthrough. Beautiful. Hyper shields is completed, which means we move on to, I guess, doing particle lances, getting them done and out of the way. These heavy energy weapons fire focused particle beams that cause massive damage. The size of the emitter arrays limits their use to battleships and titans. Fine by me. Don't have a lot of them in my fleets, though. Well, we got one. Might as well up that. Three on the first Imperial Fleet. Put that to three on the second. And then put that to three on the third. But we definitely need to focus on getting more star bases built then. So that way I have enough capacity to hold all of those that was the word <laughs> i was struggling to come up with um, but where do i put another star base this spot wouldn't be terrible this general area let's go with let's go with right here in lisak that's perfectly fine. Lisak shall be upgraded to a starport. Fantastic. All right. 
Inbound message traffic. Oh. Mm. Migration treaty. To be fair, I already have some in my empire, so I guess it's not terrible. The Felinian people should not be prisoners in the Empire of Felinae, and neither should our own people be limited to inhabit our territory. Let us agree to remedy this. Okay, sure. Why not? But if they're here, they're taking the genome that we have helped your people with. Because that's how that works. We are genetic masters, and we deserve to have proper genetics. <laughs> I always sound like a crazy eugenicist. Ugh. Bill Gates, is that you? No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. All right. Well, now we can add a new thing to the government. And what should we add? We can't go further than that. Um, diplomatic core adds to diplomatic weight and available envoys. That's actually pretty good. I want that. This society has a long tradition of rhetoric and debate, and celebrate those who are able to get their way using only words, while also having a warrior culture, because that makes sense. But hey! You can technically have both. That's what America is, anyway. Okay. Enough political jokes. Let's go! Now that we've done that, I have a lot more envoys to throw around, which means I can throw a couple more, like Jesus de la Vega. Actually, you know what? Yeah, let's throw Jesus de la Vega and Hui Wan. And... Yeah, let's also throw in Beatrice Sutton. Why not? Yeah, it's a good idea. I like that. All right, that should up our... Oh, wow. That ups our diplomatic weight significantly. Wowzers. All right. Well, oh my god. Science division. Our horde. New breakthrough. They are massive. They're so massive right now. Holy shit. Okay. Uh, we need to try and deal with that. The command matrix. Yeah, let's do that. Restructuring the chain of command and deciding what interdependencies are set between officers make fleets more responsive and effective, which adds to the ship fire rate, which is always great. All system defense efforts are coordinated from this large facility buried deep within the hull of the starbase. Map arrays and 3D projections track all space traffic passing through the system at any given time. Which is pretty good. Yeah, okay, let's go with that. Good idea to me. Alrighty. Okay, well... They have gained... So much ground, and the Commonwealth of Man has basically been wiped out because of how much ground. <laughs> we have claimed a new world. Wowzers. Okay. All right. Well, that's done. Construction complete. We'll get that one going and build a district of each. Actually, you know what? Screw the mining district. It isn't necessary. Let's go for the ones that are actually sizable and useful. Hey! They passed the resolution. Good to see. Now, let's do some more of that. Selling of that. And buy some more of that. And we shall upgrade the fleet. All of the fleets. Because boy, do they need it. And let's check on the star bases, shall we? Lee Sack is nearly finished. There we go. Upgrade it a little further. Poor Sham. Did I forget? I did forget. 
throw more hangar bays over there. That's silly of me. Where is Vorsham anyway? Right there. Okay. Um, in that case, they shall also have a communications jammer. There we go. That's a good idea. Winambus shall get another addition to the trade hubs and an extra hangar. Winambus was over there. Beautiful. Fantastic. And then off-world trading company. Then an additional upgrade. Bade. Also getting an off-world trading company and an upgrade. Upgrade EM. Upgrade. Oh, I'm lacking alloys for that. Crap. Okay, well, do that later, I guess, when I have more. Alright, I can't buy any more right now. Well, it's worth a shot. Is there any further I can go? Just to seven. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Okay. Just need another 350. Never mind. 265. And then I'll be able to upgrade this. <sighs> gonna go slow, but you're surely gonna get there. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> Don't know where all of those alloys went, but that definitely set our plans back. Tell you what. Ah, it's fine. Ships refitted. Oh, because they were getting refitted. That's why. That's right. I remember now. Okay. Science well. division reports a new breakthrough. Ooh. Neutronium materials is finished. Beautiful. Then let us go after Marauder missiles. These highly advanced missiles are equipped with limited onboard AI pilots that substantially improve their performance and ability to track targets. Hells yeah. Let's do it. Ships refitted. Wait, oh, they're already needing another one. Oh, yeah, because of the missiles upgrade. That's right. That's Science right. Science Division Remember reports now. a new breakthrough. Command Matrix is finished. Beautiful. Then let's go with Manifest Destiny to allow us more starbase capacity. We must have the courage to seize our fate and make true what was always meant to be. Right. Okay, let's do that then. Just so I have more star bases. And that's the only reason. Science Division reports a new breakthrough. Nice. Particle lances are complete. Tachyon lances. A more powerful version of the particle lance. These we This weapon fires a tachyon beam of immense power. Like its predecessor, its use is limited to battleships and titans. That's fine. That's fine as long as it's useful. That's fine. Oh, Ships right. refitted. Good. Ships refitted. Good. Now they need upgrade again. All right. Did I ever? I did finish the King battleship. Okay. King Tiger Battleship Ships refitted. Is... Well. Construction we complete. Gonna have to get upgraded to that. And otherwise it's all good. Fantastic. Oh. It can't be changed while it's upgrading. Makes sense. Okay. All right. Well, with that in mind... have to wait until it's finished and then we'll get that set up. Ooh! 
the Polysimus Syndicate Mega Corporation did that again. Again. What is this? No. Absolutely not. No. We're not the owner of this branch office. It doesn't matter. I guess I'm going to have to keep the anti-crime campaign going until it's gone. <sighs> Alright, well we got unity and another tradition we can go after. Let's go after the pursuit of profit, I guess. That's a good idea. The pursuit of profit has become a central tenet of our society. Those who are successful at any kind of enterprise are deeply admired, and the accul acclamation of energy credits is seen accumulation, rather, of energy credits is seen as an extremely worthwhile goal. Yeah, well, does make it right. All right, let's go back to their stations. All right. The death of the Great Khan. Great Khan Itha, daughter of Enum, is dead. After her armada met with defeat a second time in the Vanico system, the Great Khan made no attempt to escape her flagship when it was destroyed in battle by the Spuxalax Star Nation. With their beloved leader gone, a vicious power struggle has, erupt has erupted in the Hifnar Horde. The Great Khan's warlords are now fighting each other for control over her empire. It remains to be seen who will emerge on top. So ends the reign of Etha, daughter of Enum. And we'll see if that means the whole empire falls apart or not. I guess we'll see. Senate floor is in session for integrated gardens. By encouraging our citizens to grow their own food and mandating easy-to-use hydroponic systems, we can reduce our impact on the worlds we live in and enjoy more greenery. Well, I mean, I don't see how that could be terrible. It's definitely not going to be great, but it's not going to be terrible. All right, well... Hifnar Horde. Let's see. The death of the Great Khan has thrown the Hifnar Horde into disarray. No one is willing or able to receive your call. What is happening over there? Uh, probably going to get mopped up and then finished off is probably what's going to happen. But. It is what it is, unfortunately. Not much we can do about that. Ships refitted. Cool. All right. Um, Construction complete. You know what? I haven't heard from the artisan troop either. They're still not responding to our hails. Wow. Those bastards. Like to establish a mutual think tank. Yes, yes, such a facility would greatly benefit the advancement of galactic science. You may build this think tank at your starbase in the system you share with us. Our curators will come to mingle with your scientists. Beautiful. Fantastic. Which is the one that we share, though? I forget. <laughs> I forget. Was it Hades? Is it Hades that has that? Yes, yes it is. Well... That's definitely an option that I will be exploiting soon. But first things first, let's get our system filled out a little bit more. You are not doing what I think you're doing. Okay. I was about... I was about to lose it. Okay. Against all odds, 
the Hifnar Horde has managed to weather the turmoil that followed in the wake of the death of the Great Khan. The immediate threat of splintering into different successor states has been largely eliminated with the coronation of a new Khan. For now, this reborn Hifnar Khanate seems more concerned with the consolidation of the territory it already controls than making new conquests. We shall see how long they survive. And we have a new form of aliens that we have yet to run into before, and they're in our home system. I'm sorry, what? What? Okay, that was weird. And there's nothing telling me about them. Oh, well, that's unfortunate. I'm all the way down in sixth place. Oh, no. I ain't gonna win this. That's unfortunate. But it is what it is. Okay. Okay, looks like this is going to win out one way or another. And repeal minor economic sanctions? No. We're not gonna do that. Ooh, some more spots we can build up. Let's go with... I don't know. <laughs> it's a good question now, isn't it? I don't know. Maybe... Well, I'll upgrade the administrative office to administrative park. That should be fine. And I guess for Camelot, we'll do a synthetic crystal plant. That should be fine. Makes up for, you know, the administrative park I'm now making in regards to its reduction of my crystal stores. And we'll do that and build another... Civilian Industries place. That's good. Or is it? I'm building up a lot of them. Eh, I could sell it for a decent price still. Okay. I was wondering if we were making too many. And we were just going to flood the market and keep the price lower than all hell. To the point that it's not even profitable to keep making more. But I guess it is still useful. So... In that case, we'll continue on. We'll also sell some minerals as well. And buy some more alloys. Because we'll still need those. Alright, uh, upgrade the Stray Station and the Nusakan Station. That's fine. And the Ketling Star Pack has declared the Sutherian Entity their rival. Good. As they should. Acropolis now has a new spot that we can do stuff with. Let's make this another uh, commercial zone. Cool. Fine by me. The agreement we signed giving you access to our databanks has run its course. Would you like to extend it for another 10 standard years? Or do your researchers no longer require the information we offer? Oh no, we require it. I would like to extend the deal. Oh yeah. The artisan trope finally talks to us again. How about that? Yeah, sure. Let's go ahead. And with that... You better answer my hills. You... You... Construction complete. Fine. All right, at least sack. You know what? We'll continue building more anchorages there. I don't see why not. Build a naval logistics office as well. And good. Is 
And now I think about it, I don't think I queued up another uh, upgrade for that place. In fact, I'm very certain I didn't. Construction complete. Beautiful. In that case, build the star base there and then go back to build mining stations there. A new faction has recently been gaining traction in the internal political landscape of the Empire of Felinae, led by Governor Dai Hu. Dai Hu. They call themselves the Conclave of the Sacrosanct Truths. Their members support spiritualistic and conservative values. Great. All right, well... Let's make sure real quick. I did not. Now they are. Fantastic. Construction complete. Science Bade division Star Base. reports a new breakthrough. Needs now more hangar bays and... Mm, I don't know. I forget where I put Bade. Bade. Is it over here? No. Where is it? There it is. Over there. Okay. Uh, well. With that in mind. It's a little on the back end. So, resource silo would be safe to do. Marauder missiles. Now finished. Beautiful. Let's go with... A... Citadel, maybe? Sorry, I'm kind of itching my leg, so I'm a little away from the microphone. There we go. Hmm. You know what? Let's just finish with advanced afterburners. Let's just finish that up so I don't have to worry about it anymore. This improved version of the standard afterburners provide an even greater boost to a ship's combat speed. Even though none of my ships are equipped with it. Alrighty. Alrighty then. Science division reports a new breakthrough. Cool. And Tachyon Lances is completed, which means we move on and finish the arc emitters. Just so it's done. Powerful weapons that launch a lightning arc of chaotic energy at targets, which in part can ignore armor and shields. I don't see any problem with that. Just fucking shoot some Sith lightning. The science division reports the new from the breakthrough. front of the ship. Sith lightning. <sighs> okay. Manifest destiny. Okay. With that done, we will move on to well, interstellar logistics would help me on the naval capacity front. Not bad. Amateurs talk about tactics. Professionals study logistics. By ensuring our fleets are regularly and efficiently supplied, we can increase the number of vessels we can effectively support. That's a real good idea. Can't turn that down. Cannot turn that down at all, tell you what. Oh, we're back to this crap again, aren't we? <sighs> Again. Again with you. Alright, this has seven housing. Okay, you know what? If they keep building those on my planet, I'm gonna need to have a permanent precinct house. There's no other way. There's no other way. As much as I hate it, there's no other way. Alright. Welp. That's annoying, but what else can I do? Not much. <sighs> okay. Okay. Wow. Construction complete. Your Exocodium are really kicking some behind. To the point that, um, yeah, they should probably just give up. Really, they should just give up. Like, 
Surrender. Surrender. Offer status quo. Okay. Well, it's going to be the only option they have, and that's going to be difficult to do, but... Well, eventually. Eventually they shall do so. But it is hitting that time. We should be ending the episode, so I will set these up to be finished, and then we will do so. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. And click the like button if you like this particular video. And share and comment so I can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one the only Stray Cat. Playing games and trying to keep our nation expanding as much as we possibly can. But also having our allies do stupid moves like getting into a war with the progenitors who are purely xenophiles and would be welcoming to just give their stuff away if they weren't being so stupid and uh now the hifnar horde is more or less its own entity and how it goes from there remains to be seen maybe we can make them our buddies we'll see for you